Hi, I'm Rachel, a qualified child restraint technician from Baby on the Move, and I'll be guiding you through how to install your car seat to get you and your baby on the move safely. Before we begin, make sure your vehicle is parked on a level surface to ensure you get an accurate restraint angle when using the level guides. Where possible, we recommend installing the car seat in the back seat of the vehicle and never in front of working airbags. For further details, please refer to your vehicle and car seats manual. If using the latch installation, check in the bite of the vehicle's back seat for Isofix bars to connect to. If using the top tether installation, check for anchor points in your vehicle. Anchor points are located either in the back of the vehicle seat, in the boot, on the rear back dash, or in the roof that's accessed from the boot. This is the Graco Nautilus Snuglock car seat. This car seat converts into three different modes. For children that weigh between 10 and 54 kilos, or whose height is between 69 to 145 centimetres standing height. The first stage for this seat is a forward-facing harnessed booster. Using the five-point harness to secure your child. To use this mode, your child must be at least one year old, weigh between 10 and 20 kilos if installing using the latch system, or between 10 and 30 kilos if using the vehicle seatbelt to install. And for either method, the child's standing height must be between 69 and 125 centimetres. To use this car seat as a high back booster, your child must be at least four years or older, weigh between 18.1 and 45 kilos, and have a standing height from between 110.1 and 145 centimetres. We recommend keeping the back on the car seat until your child has outgrown this mode. Then you can use the backless half booster mode. This option can accommodate children who are four years or older, weigh between 18.1 and 54 kilos, and have a standing height from between 110.1 and 145 centimetres. Install forward facing using the latch system and a five point harness with snug lock. Forward facing harness booster mode using the latch system with the five point harness to secure your child. To use this mode, your child must be at least one year old, weigh between 10 and 20 kilos, and whose standing height is 69 to 125 centimetres. Unhook the top tether strap from storage. Place the car seat forward facing in the back seat of the vehicle. Recline the car seat into position. Loosen the harness straps. Raise the headrest to the highest position. Unbuckle the harness buckle and chest clip. Unbutton and lift seat pads to expose the car seat's shell. Open the snug lock bar by lifting the lever to release. Open the latch storage door. Source the latch straps. Extend the latch straps to their maximum length by pressing the grey button and pulling on the strap. Ensure the latch straps do not interfere with the harness straps. Feed the latch strap through the forward facing belt path. Ensure the latch strap is routed under the snug lock bar. Ensure the latch straps are not twisted. Attach the latch connectors to the vehicle's isofix points. Remove the slack from the latch straps by pulling on the tensioner. Tighten the latch straps by pressing down firmly in the centre of the car seat. Firmly press down on the snug lock bar. Listen for the snug lock click to secure the car seat. Connect the top tether strap to an approved anchor point. Push the car seat back into the vehicle seat while tightening the tether strap to remove slack. Check for movement by moving the car seat at the belt path from left to right, back and forth. For a correct fit, there should be less than 2.5 centimetres of movement at the belt path. Place the seat pads back into their correct position. Move the headrest back to the correct position for your little one. Place your child in the car seat. Position the harness over your child. 
the height of the harness straps must be at or just above your child's shoulders. The chest clip must be in line with your child's armpits. Check you cannot pinch the harness straps at the shoulder. Install forward facing using the vehicle seat belt and five point harness with snug lock. Forward facing harness booster mode using the vehicle seat belt to install with the five point harness to secure your child. To use this mode, your child must be at least one year old, weigh between 10 and 30 kilos, the child's standing height must be between 69 and 125 centimetres. Store the latch straps so they are out of the way. Recline the car seat into position. Unhook the top tether strap from storage. Place the car seat forward facing in the back seat of the vehicle. Loosen the harness straps. Raise the headrest to the highest position. Unbuckle the harness buckle and chest clip. Unbutton and lift seat pads to expose the car seat shell. Open the snug lock bar by lifting the lever to release. A handy tip is to use a clothes peg to hold the seat belt in place. Feed the vehicle seat belt through the forward facing belt path under the snug lock bar and out the other side. Click the vehicle seat belt into the buckle. Tighten the vehicle seat belt by pressing down firmly in the center of the car seat. Firmly press down on the snug lock bar. Listen for the snug lock click to secure the car seat. If you don't use the snug lock bar for emergency locking seat belts, you must use a locking clip. Connect the top tether strap to an approved anchor point in your vehicle. Push the car seat back into the vehicle seat while tightening the tether strap to remove the slack. Place the seat pads back into their correct position. Move the headrest back to the correct position for your little one. Check for movement by moving the car seat from left to right, back and forth. For a correct fit, there should be less than 2.5 centimetres of movement at the belt path. Place your child in the car seat. Position the harness over your child. The height of the harness straps must be at or just above your child's shoulders. The chest clip must be in line with your child's armpits. Check you cannot pinch the harness straps at the shoulder. Install as a high back booster using the latch system. As your child grows, you will no longer be using the five point harness and instead will use the vehicle seat belt over the front of your child. We will secure this car seat in high back booster mode using the latch system. To use this method, your child must be four years or older, weigh between 18.1 and 45 kilos, and their standing height must be between 110.1 and 145 centimetres. Store the harness system by doing the following. Remove the harness covers. Loosen the harness straps. Raise the headrest to the highest position. Unbuckle the harness buckle and chest clip. Unbutton and lift seat pads to expose the car seat shell. Place harness chest clip and buckle tongues in the storage compartment. Store the harness crutch buckle in the base of the car seat shell. Adjust the car seat in the most upright position by pulling the recline handle out and push down on the car seat. Place the car seat forward facing in the back seat of the vehicle. Unhook the top tether strap from storage. Open the snug lock bar by lifting the lever to release. Ensure the latch strap is routed under the snug lock bar. Source the latch straps. Extend the latch straps to their maximum length by pressing the button and pulling on the strap. Feed the latch strap through the forward facing belt path. Ensure the latch straps do not interfere with the harness straps. Close the storage door. 
attach latch connectors to the vehicle's isofix points, ensure the latch straps are not twisted. Remove the slack from the latch straps by pulling on the tensioner. Tighten the latch straps by pressing down firmly in the centre of the car seat. Firmly press down on the snug lock bar. Listen for the snug lock click to secure the car seat. Connect the top tether strap to an approved anchor point in your vehicle. Push the car seat back into the vehicle seat while tightening the tether strap to remove slack. Place the seat pads back into their correct position. Move the headrest back to the correct position for your child. Check for movement by moving the car seat's base from left to right, back and forth. For a correct fit, there should be less than 2.5 centimetres of movement at the belt path. Place your child in the car seat. Thread the shoulder portion of the vehicle seatbelt through the seatbelt guide on the headrest closest to the retractor and vehicle door. Never use only the vehicle's lap belt in booster mode. Feed the lap portion of the vehicle seatbelt under both armrests. Click the vehicle seatbelt into the buckle. The vehicle shoulder portion of the seatbelt should come diagonally across your child's chest and between the neck and the edge of the shoulder. The lap portion of the vehicle seatbelt should sit over their lap on their thighs where your child is strongest. Install as a high back booster using the vehicle seatbelt. To use this car seat as a high back booster, your child must be four years or older, weigh between 18.1 and 45 kilos, and have a standing height from between 110.1 and 145 centimetres. Store the harness system by doing the following. Remove the harness covers. Loosen the harness straps. Raise the headrest to the highest position. Unbuckle the harness buckle and chest clip. Unbutton and lift seat pads to expose the car seat shell. Place harness, chest clip and buckle tongues in the storage compartment. Store the harness crutch buckle in the base of the car seat shell. Place the seat pads back into their correct position. Adjust the car seat in the most upright position by pulling the recline handle out and push down on the front of the car seat. Place the car seat forward facing in the back seat of the vehicle. Place your child in the car seat. Thread the shoulder portion of the vehicle seatbelt through the seatbelt guide on the headrest closest to the retractor and vehicle door. Never use only the vehicle's lap belt in booster mode. Feed the lap portion of the vehicle seatbelt under both armrests. Click the vehicle seatbelt into the buckle. The vehicle shoulder portion of the seatbelt should come diagonally across your child's chest and between the neck and the edge of the shoulder. The lap portion of the vehicle seatbelt should sit over their lap on their thighs where your child is strongest. The backless booster, also known as a half booster, is the last stage seat for your growing child. This mode helps to guide the vehicle's seatbelt over the strongest parts of your child's body. It is recommended to continue using the back on the car seat for as long as possible before moving into this mode. This half booster can accommodate children who weigh between 18.1 and 54 kilos and whose standing height is between 110.1 and 145 centimetres. Convert car seat to a half booster. Remove harness straps from the splitter plate. Unbutton and lift seat pads to expose the car seat shell. Detach elastic straps, if any. Store the harness crutch buckle in the base of the car seat shell. 
remove the entire back of the car seat by sliding the two buttons on the base towards the back into a flat position. Squeeze the two buttons together and slide the back away from the base. Store the splitter plate. Pull on the adjustment strap to lock the splitter plate. Place the seat pads back into their correct position. Place the car seat forward facing in the back seat of the vehicle. Place your child in the car seat. Your child's ears must be below the top of the vehicle's seat back or headrest. Feed the lap portion of the vehicle seat belt under both armrests. Click the vehicle seat belt into the buckle. Never use only the vehicle's lap belt in booster mode. The correct position. The vehicle's shoulder portion of the seat belt should come diagonally across your child's chest and between the neck and the edge of the shoulder. The lap portion of the vehicle seat belt should sit over the lap on their thighs where your child is strongest. A common mistake. Both the shoulder and lap sections of the vehicle seat belt must follow the car seat's seat belt path under the arm closest to the vehicle's buckle. If the vehicle's shoulder seat belt does not lay on the front and top of your child's shoulder, then you need to use the belt positioning clip. To attach the belt positioning clip, insert the loop end of the strap through the same slot as the harness adjustment strap. Push clip and strap through the loop. Pull to tighten. Push the clip through the slot in the pad. Place your child back in the car seat, buckle your child in, click the seat belt into the vehicle's buckle. Slide the clip into the vehicle seat shoulder belt. Adjust the belt positioning clip to fit your child. Clip should now fit right at the top of the shoulder. To open the five point harness. To loosen the tension strap, press the silver button at the front base of the car seat. To open the chest clip, squeeze and pull away from the middle. Push the red button in the centre of the crutch buckle to remove the buckle tongues. To do up the five point harness. Weave your little one's arms through the top section of the harness strap. Click one buckle tongue in at a time. Pull the tension strap at the front of the car seat to tighten. Clip the chest strap together. Slide the chest clip to align with the armpit or nipple height of your child. To adjust the headrest height, squeeze the whole trigger at the top of the car seat, push and pull up and down. Once the desired position is located, release the trigger. At Baby on the Move, we believe that no one should have to go it alone in parenthood. With a number of boutique stores across New Zealand, we are here to support you through parenthood. We can provide support through a local expert who will stand beside you every step of the way to make things a little easier.